In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to use PowerShell to interact with deleted site collections and webs for SharePoint. So basically, since the introduction of SharePoint 2010 Service Pack 1, uh, Microsoft has given us the ability to restore deleted webs or site collections from the recycle bin. In my case here, I had a site collection called Nick that was located under the sites slash Nick URL and I deleted it through the central administration interface. So we're going to use PowerShell to go and interact with that deleted object. One thing to take good note of is that you can only ever restore an object that was deleted and by object I mean web and sites that was deleted through the web interface. If you go and use PowerShell to delete a site collection or a web, it's long gone, right? So, for example, if you use the remove SP web PowerShell commandlet to remove any webs that you have, you don't have second chance. It's gone. You need to go back to your backups if you want to restore it. So, in my case, I made sure I went through the web interface, deleted my site collection, and then I'm going to launch a new PowerShell session add my PS snap-ins for SharePoint and once this is done I'm gonna be calling a commonlet called get sp deleted site okay then this is expects you to uh, to pass it a portion of a URL where you believe the deleted site collections are located at or the ID of a site collection. But since I don't know the ID of it, I'm just going to go slash sites slash star. And there we go. So you see that it's returning one item. It looks like it's only getting an, a, um, an SP deleted site item, but it's actually returning me a collection of many deleted sites. In my case, I only have one, but still, you need to make sure uh, you understand that this is a collection. So for me to get a reference to that object, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a new variable called deleted sites. Then I'm going to call back my same PowerShell commonlet. There you go. So now my object, if I just print it off, contains like a collection with only one item. If I want to really get a reference to my deleted site, I'm just going to call a new variable uh, del, del site for deleted site. Going to get access to my collections. And then I'm just going to get item zero. So then if I go del site, Still, it looks the same, but now I'm no longer dealing with a collection of objects. I'm dealing with a single object there. So if you want to see what properties and methods are available for that variable, you can just go pipe that variable into the get member comment line. And then it's just going to produce you a list of all the different methods and properties. So in here we see we have two very important methods, the restore and the delete. So an SP deleted site object is kind of in between life and death, right? So it's, you cannot access it through the web interface. Still, it's there. It's available for 30 days, after which the timer jobs are going to kick, kick in and just remove them. If I was to call the delete method on it right now, it, it would be gone. It would be the same thing as calling the remove SP site from the get-go. There's no way to restore it after that. If I go in here and just go get my item there my Dell site and just call the dot restore on it it will automatically go in the back end and restore that site collection so convert it back from an SP deleted site object back into its former glory so an SP site object just to test that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go localhost slash site slash Nick just to prove to you that it's back in business and there you go Okay, so if we do the opposite now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in Central Admin, select my site collection, my site's Nick, select it from there, delete it, yes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go rerun the same method. I'm going to get my deleted sites, there you go, and then you see that it's now back in the uh, deleted site collection. If I go back in here and then try to do the same thing, 
I should get an error saying it's, it doesn't exist. So four, uh, 400, because uh, the, the site is gone. It doesn't exist. It's deleted. It's in that deleted site state. So now what I do, I go in here, just go del site dot delete, and it's gone. No longer is there a way for me to retrieve it. If I run this command, uh, this SharePoint, this PowerShell command, let's sorry, if I go run get sp deleted site again, it's just going to give me an error saying it cannot find any deleted object that starts with sites star because it's gone. There's no way for me to restore it anymore. So hopefully this gives you uh, this gives you an overview of what the deleted site and deleted web deleted web is, works exactly the same as a site collection. Um, and it, th I think the main thing to take out of this is that there's a difference between deleting something from the web interface. From the web in interface, you're given a second chance. Um, PowerShell is uh, is doesn't have any mercy. <laughs> if you delete something with PowerShell, it's gone. So uh, until next time.